Hey, 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 everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back. Yeah, as you can see, I've been of a, a bit of a busy boy here. <laughs> I have uh, just about everything. I haven't done the Divine Beast. I've saved that for the stream. But I've done a lot. Last time I think we left it, I was I had the Master Sword. Um, I think it's time to do some Divine Beast, though. I've been really holding off. I've been tempted to do them off stream. Just because I, I, this game is just so chill and it's so nice to, you know, come home from work or... I come home from work. I, I work from home. But it's just nice to play this game in your time off and chill out and, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay. Well, anyways, let's do it. Where is it? Where is... Okay, I think it's around here. We're going to do the elephant beast first because I have the easiest access there. I have... You know, lightning arrows, I have everything that I need in order to, uh, to do it. Oh, I'm wearing the, uh, space tank top that I got just for the stream, like, months and months and months ago when I first started streaming. I think it was, like, my 50 follower goal that I set, and as soon as I hit it, I, uh, I got this tank here. Uh, I was gonna say, can we upgrade this armor anymore? I don't think so. We don't really need it. The Divine Beasts are, are probably the easiest part of this, uh, this whole quest, really. I'm pretty sure the Lionel that you first fight to get the Lightning Arrows is, uh, is harder than the Divine Beast. Let's turn up the sound a little bit. Let's get some jams, too. You know what? Let's get some jams going here. Hmm, what's good? What's good? There we go, Zelda Wave 2. Let's do it. Mm, just came back from the gym. Feeling great. Feeling ready to take on the world. Maybe not. <laughs> what do I have here? Uh, I'm trying to remember what the gimmick is for this divine beast. I think it's just like you gotta use your uh, this this one the most, I believe. Maybe magnesis. And then when you get on when you get on it, it's uh, you just I think you have to maneuver the trunk to change the direction of like the flow of water or whatever. It's kind of cool that it's causing all of Zora's domain to just constantly be rainy. It's like just flooding the skies with rain. <laughs> is, is what what song is this? Is this called any particular song? Like, this is not the Song of Healing. No, I think it's just like, what, the Terminate theme or something like that? No, no, the Terminate theme is a little bit different. Hey, what's this? I will take that. So wait, the Knight's Shield, is that better than... That's better than the Lionel Shields. Oh yeah, I think I, I like the looks of it better too. I like that they they tried to kind of mimic the. Uh, is it called that? Oh, this is the night shield. I like that that it kind of mimics the Hylian shield. I like how in Ocarina of Time, like they they made that shield to be much more than it actually is. Like in Ocarina of Time, you literally buy it from some Russian dude in a store. <laughs> that's that's all. <laughs> And then later on in, in Skyward Sword, they made it out to be like this magical, unbreakable shield. And in this game, I'm pretty sure it's unbreakable as well. All right, let's do this shit. Come 
Come on, we got this. Let's do it. I think I have to equip the arrows. is up oh uh, they stole that from me <laughs> I got it right oh I like that, that's the tail. It's like the spout of the beast is the tail. Oh, did I get that second one? I'm not sure. No, I don't think I did. Oh, shit. <laughs> Break them, you. It's kind of cool that you get to interact with. Uh, I like how each one of the divine beasts you have to do something like uh, unique. I am so excited for the next game. Hopefully, it'll be like. Hopefully, it'll have the option for co-op exploration. That would be really cool. Here's the song of healing. I think the first song was the intro theme to Majora's Mask. Oh shit! I want them to introduce proper dungeons too, cause like, the Divine Beasts are cool, but it's definitely lacking that traditional Zelda dungeon. Is it this one that we need to do? It's neither? What? It's crazy how Majora's Mask was only created in a year. I'm not sure how long, uh, you know, Ocarina of Time took, but they, they had to create like brand new assets for Ocarina of Time, all this kind of shit. So I can see it taking much longer, but Majora's Mask, to be that the game it is, is to be so memorable, to have some like the most memorable char characters and songs and stuff like that. Even though it was just essentially like a remix of the original Ocarina of Time game, it's kind of crazy to think about how much they've accomplished in one year to create such a substantive is that a, is that a word just a crazy one of the one of the most beloved Zelda games ever ah. can really uh, grab hold of the straw there <laughs> all right I think should I knock out the Gerudo temple next Or should I do? Maybe we should save the Gerudo Temple for last. Because I have all the fairies. I've explored. I think I have all the towers. All this kind of shit. I just have pretty much the Divine Beast left. And to maybe go and farm some upgrades. Although at this point I can probably go and kill Ganon. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Maybe not. Maybe uh, we need Urbosa's Fury or whatever it is. I'm sure if I really wanted to, I'd probably kill Ganon. All right. All right, thanks for the help, dude. This is so similar. This is almost like exactly the same as the uh, the bird divine beast and how you got on there. Super, super, super similar. 
Like, essentially, the, the bird guy just helps you uh, take down the shields, and then it's like you're on there. I'm trying to think. I think it's very similar for the Gerudo one. The... The Goron Divine Beast, I think, is a little bit different. Yeah, there's like a sneaking mission or something you have to help out with. Travel registered to map. Travel gate. Mifa. How would that work? Can Hylians mate with Zoran? Zora? Because I know that it implied that Rudo wanted to marry Link. Obviously, that didn't happen. But, like, how would that work? Like, I know... I don't know. Magic. <laughs> what would their kids look like? That's the real question. How would that actually work? Like, maybe they could have, like, a fling or something like that, but... To actually have, you know, a real relationship where you expect to have children and stuff like that with Azora? How the hell does that work? Oh, wow. One shot, hey? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be definitely overpowered for this crap. Definitely super overpowered. Okay, we don't have the ability to control the Divine Beast yet. This is the theme from the, uh... What's it called? Uh, observatory in Majora's Mask, which is really cool. That's when you you have the the moon shedding a tear. Hey, is this where we get control of it? Give me that tear, baby. Yeah, it's kind of odd because. So it's implied that the Sheikah had super advanced technology, you know, 10,000 years ago, but they also had very advanced technology in Skyward Sword as well when they lived on the ground. Because when you go on the surface in Skyward Sword, you have uh, the ability to use those, like, time stones to uh, have sections of the map go back to how they were a thousand years ago. And then there's these like machines and robots and it's heavily implied because the time shift stones themselves have uh, pretty much like proto Sheikah eyes on them. So it's heavily implied that the Sheikah were advanced even all the way back then. Too bad that none of the other games really have that kind of stuff. Like there's gossip stones in Ocarina of Time. I guess there's the, the Beemos or whatever. Those are kind of like technology. But it's weird, it's just, it's just so odd to me that all of a sudden they're like super advanced, like we get to learn more of them. I, uh, you know what, I guess that's kind of cool. There's not really as much indication about it though, in the previous games. Guardian sword, oh nice, attack up. I will take that. God, I can already see this uh, dungeon's gonna be AIDS. See how it is. Wanna stop it maybe right around here? Can we interact with it? Nice, we can. Perfect. Where's where's the, the heart of this uh, this place here? We haven't found it. Like the engine that makes everything tick here. Hey, third viewer! Welcome, oh. Welcome, my friend. Help me decide what I should get for, what I should get for dinner tonight. There we go, finally. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Where do we go next here? I remember this place being a bit of a pain in the ass. At least we can control... Um... The Divine Beast now. That's weird. I, I think there's like some kind of like a weird glitch with the emulator because I, I see like flashes of the uh, menu every now and then. Hmm. What's up here? 
Mr. Eyeball. front. Oh, okay. So you can aim at quite a bit, actually. Let's see. I think that's... That's the front? Ah, here we go. That's the front. Okay. Okay, so what happens when that goes down here? I see. Okay. That makes sense. We want to do... We want to keep it there. We want to use the f time freeze. What the heck is this? Oh, amiibo? I wonder if you can use amiibos on the emulator. That'd be kind of cool. Preferably what we'd want to do is uh Hmm. Yeah, do it this way. Go on this way here. Come on, come on. Nice, nice, we got it. <laughs> Alright, so what is this? Is this two out of four? Oh, three, three terminals. Two out of five remaining here. I don't really care too much about the chess. Honestly, I have pretty great weapons. Um, let's see here. Here's what we can do as well. So, let's catch a ride. Yeah, if we can grab some ch easy chests, like, I'll do it, but, like, at this point, we really don't need anything. Oh, yes, we made it. Yeah, we, we literally need nothing at this point. Like, I have everything that I would ever need. Anything is extra, or everything that I get is extra, essentially. Hey, there's the heart. All right. Yeah, it'd be really cool to have some dungeons in this game. That's kind of... You know what it reminds me of? When, um... It reminds me of... Of the feeling that I had when I was playing Wind Waker. And... What happened is... Is, like, the whole time... Oh, hello? Or did I just... Oh, yeah, I guess... this. Is, oh, this is the boss room, okay. But it reminds me... Playing this game and, and having no dungeons... Even though I like this game much more than Wind Waker. Wind Waker, the first time I played it on GameCube, I actually didn't really like it. I was not a fan. I, I played it a couple more times since then. And, I, like, I have the remake or the remaster, whatever you want to call it. But I, uh... I grew to like it a bit more. I, I, I did. I just... I don't know. I, I just think it was lacking in story. And substance in general like i i did enjoy it i thought some of the things were kind of cool about it but the the feeling that i had when i beat this game like breath of the wild the first time and noticed that there were no actual dungeons there's just like mini dungeons with the terminals and i guess even these things are are i would consider mini dungeons as well but it was kind of like a similar feeling to the one that i had when I noticed that there weren't, like, there was no fields, you know? There was no... I know the whole point of the game is that it was, you know, the, the Hyrule was flooded by the goddesses or whatever. But it was just weird playing a game of Zelda where there's no... Yeah, that was weird. Again, it flashed there. 
But where there's no like actual Hyrule field or anything like that. And that's why I really enjoyed uh, when you go and you, you go to a Hyrule castle and there's like a little, you get just a little taste of it. What the hell is going on with the flashing? Uh, this is the first time that's happened. But you get, you get like a little taste of Hyrule Field. It was so cool. I loved it. I was like, why wasn't the whole game like this? <laughs> like the whole bow mechanic was kind of cool, but I, I feel like it should have been maybe half and half or something like that. And I know there's islands that you go to, but it's just not the same. The islands were so tiny. And I feel like there, there wasn't as much to do. And most of the secrets... Most of the secrets were based off of like you just going to the right spot and uh, and fishing for things, you know. Whereas, like Skyward Sword, I think had a similar problem, but I feel like I enjoyed that game much more. Um, hmm. Yeah, I got that one already. I'm just trying to think of where I could go next here. Let's uh, let's do this. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I I think Wind Waker was great, but it could have been so much better, I think. I think if they went half and half. That's why I kind of enjoyed uh, Spirit Tracks a bit more. Woo! Hello. Mr. Guardian. Yeah, I, I think I think if there was a little bit more variety and not just sailing. I know, like, the whole point of the game is is the sailing mechanic, but still. Okay, what does that do? What is that doing? It seems like there's a chest down there or something. Well, whatever, we'll, we'll take a look at it after. Um, while we're here, might as well explore a little bit. But, um... Yeah, Skyward Sword, I know, like, a lot of people didn't like it online, which I was kind of... Sad's not the right word, just kind of disappointed. People didn't like it. I really enjoyed it. I thought the story was amazing in that game. I think it's the best Zelda story of all of them. The characters were even, like, a lot better. Like, I cared about Link and Zelda. And I really, like, especially by the end, I was like, damn, like, this is awesome. The twists were cool, like... It was actually written really well. And then that's that's one thing that Breath of the Wild disappointed me with. Is the uh, the story. Um, the, the memories and shit like that. That was okay. Wasn't really anything that great. <laughs> like I... I, I thought the voice acting for a lot of the characters was pretty bad. Oh, I can't even aim that high, huh? Oh my god, this flashing is kind of lame, hey? Interesting. There we go. But, uh... Yeah, I... I like, seeing the trailers and being so hyped up for this game, and knowing that Skyward Sword was the last, like, real Zelda game, before this one, because um, they they release like a, a a straight up brand new Zelda game around every five years or so. I think that's their target. Five years they give themselves to to create like a new engine, a new art style, all this kind of shit. And can we? Can I not get up there? There's got to be a way. Oh, I get it. I get it. Um, and to, I think a lot of, a lot of the development time, it was focused on more of the gameplay of this game than anything else. Like, they didn't really care about story too much in this game, unfortunately. I wish, I wish, I really wish they did. Because it, like, Skyward Sword set the stand, like, this game sets the standard almost for, like, gameplay now. Whereas Skyward Sword set the standard for story, and like, why is it so? I I think you should be able to to incorporate both into the game. Let's see. 
What's going on? Ah, there we go. I knew it. I freaking knew it. How far does this go? Okay. I need to go just a little bit more. But there's so many things that this game... Like, this game's not perfect. And, uh, like, I recommended it to my buddy, and he seems to be really enjoying it, thankfully. But, like, I, I know that this game's not perfect. I, I just... I feel like it's almost... I don't know, like, I, I love these kind of open-world exploration games that you can just chill out, explore, you know, all this kind of stuff. Where the heck is the eye around here? Um... Yeah, I love these kind of exploration games because you can you can just kind of get lost in the world. That's that's one thing that I really like. There's not a lot of games like that. Like I, The Witcher, Witcher Three had uh, a kind of like a similar feeling, although it had a much better story, but not as much exploration. Like you, it's it's a similar kind of thing where you can head in any direction. And oh, hello. You can head in any direction in the game and find something to do. Which I love. Like, I love those kind of games, but there's not very many of them. Breath of the Wild, it feels more like an adventure. The Witcher, it feels more... I don't know. You get, you definitely get two different kinds of feelings. I can't really explain the difference between the two, really. Zelda is more vertical. What's going on here? My, did I do it right? <laughs> we gotta put the fire out here. Um, maybe have to go a little bit more. Yeah, Zelda. Zelda feels Zelda's more. It, it has a better exploration mechanic because you can climb up anything. You can destroy the environment more. Witcher is more static as far as the exploration goes, but it it is a lot better for story. Oh, okay, I see. There we go. Maybe a little bit further back. Yeah, what it makes up for in exploration and and world, it uh, it makes up for in story. And I guess the combat's not bad. It's kind of simple. I guess the Zelda combat is very simple too. It just has a, a lot more variety than The Witcher. In the sense that, like, you get a lot more different kinds of weapons and stuff like that. Witcher is, I'd say, a lot more stat-based, too. I guess Zelda has a couple stats. I don't know. There's a lot of overlap, but I just... I'm not sure which I enjoyed more. If I enjoyed Zelda more, if I enjoyed Witcher. I think maybe I'm... I'm... Oh, shit. That's it? That was easy? Alright, well, let's go and uh, fight... Ganon. Ganon? Blight Ganon. What was this even for? Oh, it's probably to, to swim all the way up here. Um, let's grab you. Uh, well, that was kind of it was kind of like a shortcut just in case you fell off or something like that. Yeah, whatever. Ancient Spring cares. All right. Well, since we're fighting Ganon, we don't really need the Zora armor. I don't think. I'll put it back on if we really do need it. Put on the best armor that we have. There we go. And let's just absolutely destroy. Oh, we have the Master Sword, actually. The Master Sword is probably the best weapon that we have. Let's do it. I, I do believe we have to use this. God damn, this stupid map keeps popping up. That was the easiest Divine Beast ever. <laughs> Wondering, maybe I should should I maybe do the fire one next, or should I do the Gerudo? Hmm. Maybe the fire one, because I feel like I I want to explore a little bit more. Uh, let's 
up, dude. The design of the water, the 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 blights or whatever you want to call them, they're interesting. They they remind me a lot of the uh, Twilight Princess enemies. They've got these like odd masks on them. I know they're supposed to be like Ganon's crystallized malice, whatever the hell you want to call it. But I don't know that like. I know a lot of people are saying that it's a combination of all three timelines and things like that. There's hints towards all three, but I really do think that, like, in, in my opinion... Oh, shit. In my opinion, I honestly think that just on a base level, I think it's, uh, it's the Twilight Princess timeline. Oh, shit. Oh, what the hell happened there? That's interesting. All right, let's just get up right in his face. I gotta play more aggressively. I've got the blade that seals the evil, seals the darkness. All right, got him to half. Yeah, it seems like all, all, every time you get the bl uh, the blight ganons to half, they have a second phase or whatever. From what, I ex from what I remember, I think the the thunder ganon was the hardest one. All right, what do you want me to do, dude? Give me at least a couple of good hits. Just a couple. Man, it keeps flashing. It's so annoying. <laughs> wow, what an attack. The world's slowest projectiles. Bam, 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 bam. Attack. Thanks, Mifa. Ah, look at that advice. He's dead. Yeah, see you later, dude. Easy. gonna say I love the <laughs> I love the feeling of being overpowered <coughs> I love the games that make you give you the option to do that oh god because like why not right I mean the the boss mechanics of this game aren't really that great either that's another kind of complaint that I have like here's here's what you gotta realize I I absolutely love this game I absolutely love it oh my god I just realized, like, I think the back of this chair has been stripping hair off my head. <laughs> the hell? I guess it just, my hair gets caught in the back of it. Interesting. <laughs> but, yeah, I have I have a lot of complaints. I have a lot that they want, that, that I want uh, to fix in, uh, in Breath of the Wild 2. There's, like, a lot. There is a lot. Like, the game's not perfect by any means. But I love it. That's the thing, you can love something without having it to be perfect, right? And I'm trying to think of any game that is perfect. I don't think there is any. You can always find something to at least improve. It's not, you don't have to really change stuff, just improve it. Like the concepts in this game are fantastic. Zora Champion. Eh. 
Yeah, so like if Link and Mifa, see like what, what's this blinking? If Link and Mifa, you know, are a couple, they get married and all this kind of stuff and they love each other, what are their kids gonna look like? Like I'll admit, for Zora, for a fish person, she's pretty cute. So I can see why Link would be attractor, but it's like, first of all, always naked. All right, no organs <laughs> to speak of as you can see. How does that work? Like if the kid comes out a mammal, cause you know, she's a fish, she doesn't have warm blood as far as we can tell here. They don't wear clothes either. Like how, how, do, how do the fish people feed their children? Like if you, if Link were to mate with the fish person and have a child, how would she feed? She has no uh, mammalian organs on her chest that would be able to help her out with that. Would they have to have like a surrogate? <clears throat> All these questions need to be answered in Breath of the Wild too. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. Damn, my eyebrows are getting thick as hell. I need to trim them down a bit. Man. So what what happens after this though? Like, do the do we still I, I feel like at this point the divine beasts are too dangerous to keep around if Ganon can just take control of them again, right? So you'd think that they'd all be dismantled. Same with the Guardians. No more Guardians. Um, I guess Link would just hunt down the rest of the Guardians or he'd create like a task force or something to hunt them down. Divine Beasts, they're using the final fight against Ganon, but you definitely would not want to for any of this to happen again because you got to think about this. In the beginning of the game, Hyrule literally gets obliterated because of them. So, the first thing that I would do, if, if we were going to keep the Divine Beast and the Guardians, first thing that I would do is, I, as Ganon, is I would literally try to do the exact same thing all over again. The exact same thing. Because there's no pilots for the Divine Beast. They're just spirits now, so I'd try to take them over. Why the fuck not? I did it once, why can't I do it again, right? So I expect that in the second Breath of the Wild, all of the beasts and all that are gonna be gone. They're gonna be completely gone, no more guardians. Thankfully, like, I, I just feel like the guardians are cool, but I mean, like, we don't need them again. You know, we we can get rid of them. We can say see you later to the, the guardians. Um, yeah, come on, don't try to humanize this thing. It's, a, it's like a weird machine made of stone. It's odd that they don't use, like, metal for their machines. They use stone. It's very interesting. You'd think that metal would be a little bit more, you know, a little stronger and a little bit easier to replace. This thing looks like it's made of freaking marble or something like that. But yeah, I think in the trailer for Breath of the Wild, there's, like, a couple of theories for when they show the, the area outside and it shows the castle rising once they show Ganondorf. Like the actual Ganondorf under the castle, because um, there's no, it doesn't show any of the shrines, it doesn't show any of the beasts in the background, nothing like that. I wonder if it, because to dismantle those kind of things, the divine beasts and the guardians, and to get rid of all the shrines, that would take years. So maybe, maybe it takes place a couple of years after. My guess is that they'll, they won't really explain it too much. They'll just say, yeah, it's we've already, we just, we took care of them. It took us. You know, even though most of our army, our soldiers, most of our workers um, died off in the calamity, you know, we and we don't have any manpower, um, we were able to get rid of all the shrines and all the beasts and all the guardians. Which I, I mean, like as a plot device, whatever. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Like they can just say, yeah, yeah magic, magic did it. You know. <laughs> Nice. Look at that. Look how many hearts I have. God damn. All right. Well, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. We'll take a break here. I'll be on uh, later. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Who knows? It depends on how I feel. Um, I'll be doing the other two. I'll save 
the other two divine beasts for the stream though okay uh thanks for